what's going on YouTube today's video talks about credit card and credit card debt uh, it's my favorite topic when it comes to finances so when I meet with people weekly or as needed that is my favorite favorite topic to speak about how to come up with a game plan for individuals to pay off their debt reduce their debt whatever their goals are remember as a service member people want your business if you go into a mall uh, people want to offer you their credit card so you can get 10% off. Is that a good idea? I'm going to say the answer is no. You don't want to open up so many accounts, even if you manage them well, because it will have an impact on your credit score. We'll talk about that in another video, your credit score. But today I want to talk about with credit card debt. Should you take the offers? Hopefully the answer is no. How many accounts do you need? I can tell you when I first joined the service, uh, I applied for credit cards at the age of 24 and they said nope come back some other time that was the best thing that that lender could have done for me because looking back when I would get paid on the 1st or the 15th by the 3rd or by the 17th or the 18th my pay was already gone because I had to pay other debtors so I did not like payday um, it's very easy to overspend and that's not a good thing so if you don't have the money for a laptop for a video game for whatever it is and you use your credit card You'll have that whatever want is on the spot. And if you are paying the minimum on that credit card, then that's something to consider is how much are you paying in interest. And the lender wants you to pay the minimum or something close to the minimum so that lender will make money in interest. It's very easy for you as a service member to walk in and get what you want, whether it's a car, laptop, whatever, because somebody will finance you as a service member because they know you get paid on the 1st and the 15th. So what is your plan when it comes to finances with your debt? Do you already have debt right now? If the answer is yes and you want to reduce your debt, what is your game plan? There are several calculators out there that can help you come up with a plan on how if you make extra payments, you can reduce or eliminate that, that debt a lot sooner. One great website is powerpay.org. There are several websites out there, but that's just one of them. This website, powerpay.org, has calculators and it will also tell you if you apply X number of dollars extra towards the principal how long it'll take for you to pay off that credit card the key thing is you can't be making payments to this credit card and with this hand swiping and using that credit card you can do that but if you do it's one step forward one step back one step forward one step back so it's not a good thing like I said, back in the day, I used to get paid, and my money was gone by the second or third day after payday. Now it's a different, complete story. My wife and I have one credit card, and whatever we use, we pay when that bill comes in, so we don't pay any interest. On top of that, our credit score is really, really good because of that. We have one credit card. I've used this credit card here in this, in this city. I've used it overseas. We require, and we're just fine with one credit card. How many credit cards do you have? Is it three? Is it five? Is it seven? How many have balances? Look at the big picture and do you want to pay yourself or pay these lenders for a long, long time? Imagine the things that you can do with the money instead of paying off debt. Once that's eliminated, you can pay yourself. Are you investing? Are you doing things for yourself and for your family? So, today I briefly talked about credit cards and how easy it is for someone to get in debt. Believe me, when I was 18 and I got my first credit card, I thought I was special because whatever I wanted, I could get. And eventually that credit card was maxed out. Sometimes people say you or us as individuals will learn from other people's or from our personal mistakes. And that's true. I'm in that boat as well. But if you can learn from someone else and say, that's what I want to do, that's not what I want to do. It can hopefully put yourself into a good, good situation with your finances. You are in control. You have power with your finances. If you need assistance, seek assistance. Ask the experts. Your, your, ask the experts. Your bank, your credit union, military one source, the installation where you work has financial counselors. Pick their brains and do what's best for you. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.